Afternoon YouTube, welcome to my channel, like and subscribe. I'm gonna talk about Krypton episode one. First of all, I keep the fuck out, you know what I'm saying? Because it has a lot of reminiscing moments if you're a comic book geek, if you know what I'm saying, because it, it takes place in the city of Kandor. If you're a Superman fan, you know what Kandor is, what it represents. I mean, every idiot can know that origin of Superman or at least Superman's cousin. Anyway, it basically follows the story of Superman's grandfather like 200 years before the present time of Superman of that series. Because first I thought it was linked to the DCEU, but the Superman cape was not the same. And a lot of the designs, clothing-wise, was not the same as the opening sequence for Man of Steel. But still, a geek moment and I heard that Doomsday is coming soon and who else? Seeing Adam Strange was amazing also. I wish he had the jetpack and shit. That would have made me geek out more. And the fact that he kept on disappearing. What kind of technology was he using? I don't know. And the fact that uh, Son of L was having a, an affair with Zod's grandmother? Great grandmother I guess? Or grandmother since Superman's grandfather's daughter? No, Zod? No, that's Zod's mother, right? Because Zod was the same age as Superman's dad, right? Superman's dad's friend. Yeah, Zod's mother, fuck. It's just same date right now while I'm making this review. Anyway, I really enjoyed the show. And, like, there, there has to be a requirement for all the ladies in this show because some of them are fine as fuck I won't even lie I'm, I'm popping some pictures in the edit this dude's laughing next to me <laughs> he's gonna see when he watches the show his damn self you know, they fine as fuck well at least all the young ones let me say that because the, the old ones were old and I don't ride the old wave <clears throat> well to an extent. I don't ride the old wave to an extent. I gotta clarify some shit. Anyway, I give the first episode like an 8 out of 10. The production design was amazing. The acting was phenomenal. It's weird that they're all British. That, that, that caught me off guard. I was like, yo, yeah, so Krypton is British. I didn't know that. So, the costumes were also amazing. The visuals are stunning. The all iffy moments where you saw this scene is so key, especially when they went outside the city of Kandar. What else? And they used the Man of Steel symbol as the S. Basically, they're highlighting how the House of L became the House of Hope. Because basically starts with the House of L losing their rank and being the poor people of Krypton. Goddamn, every planet gotta have the poor black people, but they British in the show and stuff happens. Anyway. Yeah, 8 out of 10, I really enjoyed the show. Another problem I had with it was the choreographed fight scenes. They look so choreographed, it's like, yo, I'm waiting for your punch, man. Then you see the dude move his head before the punch. I, I hated that so much. I hate poor fight sequences. Even Iron Fist had a few, which made me go, ah, man, you know what I'm saying? But that, now I'm, I almost talked about Iron Fist for a second, so I'm going to end it there. Like and subscribe, join my channel. Yeah.